something trying to assert a little dominance and guess what you turn it back on them and give the ball to your own offense i agree with you it could change momentum in a big way Former Notre Damer, this is C.J. Procise. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Wilson. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to keep it here. And oh, at the end of it, he stripped. Ball comes loose. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. Wilson going to fake the give and keep it himself. He finds her sewer. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. A costly penalty there. A lineman got downfield. And for the moment, that cost him six points. Now they'll throw it with Wilson being chased out left. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Good coverage that time by Malcolm Butler. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. That one going to be complete to David Moore. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. We're scoreless after one. Get the right wheel. Get the right wheel. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, as his guys are on the board first here tonight. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So the drive there took six plays. And it all culminates with a Seattle score.
And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Well, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Now the second down throw on target, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 25 yards there on the catch and run. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Henry out of the pistol. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down and six. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker Bobby Wagner able to get back in coverage and knock it free. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Here's Tannehill. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. Touchdown, Titans. Corey Davis, 34 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well-executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. Ryan suck up on for the point after. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So that drives seven plays in length. And the result in the end, a Titans touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And that last drive, 
it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days, offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now it's Wilson. That's going to be caught by Nick Malone. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield. And oftentimes, it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Dancing to his left. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, it was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing is Wilson, escaping the pressure right. Wilson hit, it's loose, it's out, fumble. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was, because that's all defenses talk about. Getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On second, and a long way to go. Wilson, flush to his right. He's going to look deep for more, and that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Flushed out right. Going back to Moore. This time he's got him complete. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman of the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Here's Wilson, forced out to his left. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement, and then when they realize those points aren't going to count, can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? Now Wilson, step, touchdown, Seahawks. This was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait, oh, it's open. Time to hot foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points, straight line. Now Myers for the extra point. He's got it 
it's now a 14-7 ball game. That time, a six-play drive. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Here comes Ryan Tannehill now leading his offense back out there. Been a decent start for him here in this first half, but bottom line, his team's losing. They got to fix something. And it starts with him. He has to keep that little quarterback strut going right now to make sure that his team sees him as confident. Continue to try and up his game, but just let him know, hey, if I'm around, if I'm the one calling signals and throwing the football, just follow me, we'll get there. Sometimes that will do more to elevate a team than anything else. See if he has that confidence. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Off play action, Tannehill. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The linebacker, Bobby Wagner, able to get back in coverage and knock it free. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Tannehill now. 9 of 15 throwing the ball, 60%, and it's first and 10. To throw is Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now it's Tannehill off the bootleg. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's the linebacker, Michael Kendricks. And he will bring this all the way up to the 30-yard line. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Look at the big man rumble. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Will Disley, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Seahawks get the quick strike touchdown. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. The extra point now coming from Myers.
It's good, and it is now 21-7. to And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback here comes Ryan Tannehill now leading his offense back out there a lot of the problems have been on the other side of the ball is that frustrating for a quarterback who's been playing well it is but there's no way that the best ones let their teammates know that they actually take it upon themselves and say okay I have to do even more, or I need to play better. Maybe even say, I put my defense in a bad spot. That's what true leadership shows you. Yeah, well, he doesn't need to change much personally. Going deep for Walker. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Tannehill. Trying to lay one up deep. It got man complete now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half Tannehill now over 200 yards already in this first half it's first and 10 Tannehill now to throw he's going to loft one deep left side here and man it's caught at the 6 yard line let's go So it's halftime here on Sports Grandest Stage. So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Teams ready after the halftime spectacle. And we are back underway in Super Bowl 55. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now it's Wilson. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to have this all the way down deep into Tennessee territory. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. Here's Wilson. Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. It's picked up by the Titans. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit and in this case, lose the football. So should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20, but that's the same play. You're exactly right. Hindsight's really never wrong, is it? Because you can analyze it, but I think ultimately you've got to look at it as a first option, taking care of the ball, getting what you can, and that's it. Don't worry about it anymore. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And oh, at the end of it, he stripped. Ball comes loose. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. 
I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession. No turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming. Just hang on to the ball, man. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. From the red zone now, Tannehill. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. A 16-yard touchdown as his guys are back within a single score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there's an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. Suck up for the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a Tennessee score. Joseph now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Now this throw caught left side. Tyler Lockett. Touchdown, Seattle! Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again. And you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Now Myers for the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. the touchdown here's Myers to boot it away and a short kick taking it about the 16 and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30 here comes Ryan Tannehill now leading his offense back out there he's played well good first half he's continued that here in the third quarter but my question when you're a head coach what do you look at stat line wise for your court? Do you go right to turnovers? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack there by Rasheen Green. Well, they were coming out of the 4 3 defensively. Pressure coming off that right side from the DM. And that's the blind side of most quarterbacks. If you're right handed, that's the side you don't see quite as well. And that's why you rely on your left tackle, maybe your highest paid offensive lineman, to take care of you. In this situation, that didn't happen. A good pickup there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Play action, it's Tannehill. 
And he locates Walker complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. His huge night, it just continues as he's now north of 200 yards receiving. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. After the sack on first down, Tannehill in a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Not the best of plays there as a quarterback. You're right-handed, rolling left, trying to throw it that far downfield. I remember a coach of mine saying, son, that's the equivalent of trying to get the car keys out of your pocket with your opposite hand while you're trying to run. You just can't do it. And out now come the Seahawks. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Now Wilson buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. And he's got Rome, the 40, the 20, 10, and he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson, 83 yards. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Well, you want to talk about making something out of nothing. Boy, he did that right there. What an incredible run. Obviously a pass play, and he couldn't find anyone open downfield. But sometimes the receivers just run those defenders off, and it creates a wide open space. The extra point now coming from Myers. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play.